Hello scientific people, how are you today? So today I am going to take up a very important topic that is the derivation for uh, the formula for magnification for concave and convex mirrors both. So most of the people they have confusion over here so I will very easily clear up your confusion over here uh, and I will be taking up two situations one for the real image and one for the virtual image and we will derive the magnification formula for both and then we will proceed further with the magnification formula for convex, convex mirror. So guys anyhow I am going to tell you one thing that uh, if you take a real uh, image case, if you take a virtual image case or if you take a case of a concave mirror or convex mirror your answer for magnification is going to be the same. Magnification formula is independent of the type of mirrors, independent of the type of the nature of the image. So but still if you see the derivation very carefully you will understand all the points well. So here there is a concave mirror and the object is placed between F and C. Now what I have done people, I have taken one ray which is parallel to principal axis so after reflection it will pass through focus and another ray it is directly going to strike the pole. So from pole we know that the normal passes through C. So the principal axis itself is normal. So this angle will be the angle of incidence because this is your incident ray now. And at the same angle the reflection takes place. So this angle is R and at the same angle the ray goes down. Now what happens over here is since both the reflected rays are meeting there is a real image formation over here. Right. So this is the object and height of the object is say HO. The image is real and inverted say its height is HI. Now I am going to uh, consider this triangle APB. So APB and then let me call this as A dash B dash P. Correct. Now these two triangles are similar people because if you look at this one these two angles are 90 degree. This triangle and this triangle this angle is same this angle of incidence and reflection are same as per laws of reflection. So if two angles of the triangle are equal then the third angle will automatically be equal and that's why triangle A B P is similar to triangle now corresponding to A we have A dash over here corresponding to B we have B dash over here and corresponding to P in that triangle we have P in the other triangle as well. See people you must know how to write down this well if you make a mistake over here in not writing this in proper sequence then there will be a problem. Now AB upon A dash B dash that is equal to PB upon B dash P that is equal to AP upon A dash P. This is the characteristic of the similar triangle, property of similar triangle. Now AB is HO, A dash B dash is HI that is equal to, now I don't require this AP and A dash P but I know that PB is actually the uh, object distance. So starting from the pole that means this this distance is object distance and starting from pole to the image that is from the pole to the image this distance is V people right. Now BP is PB that is U and PB dash is V and I have not applied any sign conventions over here. Now I am going to apply sign conventions and we know that height above the principal axis is positive. So HO is going to be positive. HI is below the principal axis so it is going to be negative. That is equal to object distance is minus U. Image distance is also minus V because we are measuring the distance from the pole in this direction whereas the incident ray is in this direction. Now if I cancel these two and if I do the reciprocal minus HI upon HO that is equal to V by U. So this minus sign shifts over here 
so h i upon h o that is equal to minus v by u this is the formula for magnification people right so i may want to highlight this particular thing that this is the formula for magnification now comes the crucial part see when you apply this equation in numericals you have to apply the sign convention again i know people it is quite strange to hear that one time we are applying sign convention while proving and another time when you are solving numerical when you are given the values you just apply sign convention again so actually we are supposed to uh, apply the sign convention two times and the people or the viewers might be thinking that sir if we do that then the sign convention would get cancelled because we are applying it two times but this is how the thing works people i will show you at the end of the video i will show you the image of the 12 standard textbooks which also say the same thing and we have to do the numericals in this way only so if you follow this you will never ever have any trouble in solving the numericals now let us look at the uh, next case in which the concave mirror is having a virtual image but anyhow the um, formula is going to remain the same so people let's discuss about the next situation uh, in which i have already drawn the mirror so this is a concave mirror and we, when we put the object between f and p we know that a virtual and highly enlarged image is produced over here behind the mirror so how did i do that i will tell you very fast so this is the object and first ray would be parallel so after reflection it will pass through focus and then the second ray would directly hit the pole and then at the same angle the ray is going to reflect back and now since these two reflected rays are diverging they will not meet so we have to extend them backwards and when the rays do not meet we know it is a virtual image formed so virtual images are always erect now i would like to draw your attention towards few of the distances this is h o this is h i then this distance from here to here is the object distance that is u and from the pole in this direction this distance is v now let me give the name of the triangle as again a b p and a dash b dash p correct so this big triangle and i have extended it in a backwards backward direction by a dotted line so let me draw it in a hard way so this triangle a dash b dash p and a b p are again triangle a b p and the triangle similar to triangle instead of the corresponding angle to a is a dash over here because these two angles are 90 degree and now since these two angles are equal and these two are vertically opposite angles so these two are also equal right so that means a dash and b dash is corresponding to b and finally p correct so ab upon a dash b that is equal to bp upon b dash p we don't require this third relationship which is ap upon a dash p so ab is ho a dash b b dash is hi that is equal to pb that is u upon this is v now if i put the sign conventions height of the object is positive all distances above principal axis are positive hi is also positive u is measured from pole against the incident ray look incident ray goes in this direction that is in that direction so minus u v is measured from pole in the direction of incident ray so it is positive so anyhow if you reverse it hi upon ho that is equal to minus v by u we get the same conclusion and again i would like to highlight this one and i will tell you one thing again and again that here also we have applied sign convention once while deriving and when you will be solving numericals you have to apply the sign convention again correct so now uh, we will be uh, discussing few cases like uh, why if magnification is positive 
magnification is negative and if magnification is greater than 1 and if magnification is less than 1 what does these all four mean so people just remember magnification is hi upon ho we are only discussing about concave mirrors right now so we always know that height of the object is positive so if the height of the image is also positive then and only then you are going to get the positive answer that means if height of the image is positive that means image must be about the principal axis so what does this mean people this mean that here if m is positive in concave mirrors virtual image is formed now if m is negative what does that mean we know it is hi upon ho and ho is always positive because objects are always taken above the principal axis but if hi is negative then and only then our answer is going to be negative now if hi is negative that means image is formed below the principal axis which means that it is an real image because real images are always inverted and below the principal axis now people what does it mean if i say that m is greater than 1 so if h i upon h o is greater than 1 that means h i is larger than h o which means compared to the height of the object height of the image is larger so that means it's an enlarged image or magnified image correct and if i say that h i upon h o is less than 1 and h i is less than h o this means that the image is diminished or smaller because compared to the height of the object uh, height of the image is smaller so that means diminished image now it may be possible people that you may have magnification plus half that means the combination of these two that means the image is virtual and diminished which is not possible in case of concave mirror because in concave mirror there is only one case in which you have a virtual image and that too the image is bigger so you will never ever get m that is positive and less than one impossible it is not possible people now if i say that m is greater than 1 and negative which is true that means that the image is real and the image is bigger in size like in this case if the object is between f and c the image is beyond c and larger so that things are possible people so hopefully you have understood this now i would be uh, moving on to the convex mirror and we will discuss the case so people now we are going to talk about convex mirror and in convex mirror this is the object and it, it can be kept anywhere on the principal axis now first ray is parallel to principal axis so it will pass in such a way that if you extend you will get focus another ray directly hitting the pole at the same angle it is going to go now since these two are diverging rays we will get a virtual image so we are going to extend them in the backward direction and finally we get the image over here which is virtual and direct why because the refracted reflected rays are not beating now this is the object ho this is the height of the image that is hi let me consider triangle this a b and p and this is again a dash b dash p now people i would like to tell you one thing whether you are talking about concave or convex mirror which two triangles you will take so it is very easy to find out that a triangle in which there should be hi and ho and u and v both see this is one triangle in which you have hi and u sorry v and here in this triangle you have ho and u so these two triangles shall be considered now if you look carefully these two angles are equal now these two are equal so that means these two angles are equal again these two are at 90 degree and the third angle will be equal so again abp and a dash b dash p would be similar that means a b upon a dash b dash that is equal to b p upon b dash p 
now we know that this distance from p to b dash is v and from p to b this distance is u correct so a b is h o so h o upon h i that is equal to b p that is u upon v now people i am going to uh, add the sign conventions so this is positive this is positive this is negative minus u because incident ray like this we are measuring u in this way but v is positive in the direction of the incident ray we are measuring all distance from pole reversing this h i upon h o that is equal to minus v by u so that means again this is the magnification and i will again highlight this one now since i have already talked about positive and negative magnification here if you move the object anywhere you will get the image between f and p and the image will be always virtual so that means when you are dealing with the convex mirrors the magnification will be h i upon h o both will always be positive so first thing magnification will always be positive next thing if you look h i upon h o ratio h i is always smaller than h o so magnification is equal to h i upon h o where h o is big and h i is h i is less so that will be always less than 1 so that means in short magnification will always be less than plus 1 so here is an image of a, a grade 12 textbook in which the ray optics chapter is shown and the derivation of magnification is magnification is shown and while deriving they have uh, used the sign convention now you can see that the in the derivation itself they have used sign convention once and now we are use are again supposed to apply the sign convention when we'll be given the values so hopefully people you have enjoyed the explanation and please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video